these teams to be here have to have an educational focus. There has to be a tangible product as an end objective for what their teams engage in. So the SEC merely provides the resources for them to execute their vision, to execute their dreams, to engage them at a level that is far beyond what you experience in the classroom. The complexity of the projects that these teams take on, the level of the engineering, the validation and the analysis is far beyond what they get in the classroom. It's experiential learning writ large. And with the literally hundreds of students that we have involved here, across roughly 19 or 20 or more degree programs. It's very multidisciplinary, very diverse. They're involved in schedule-driven, multi-objective, conflicting objective, cost constraints, schedule-constrained activities in a team environment. It very much prepares them for, for life and careers. This is one of the robots from the RoboJackets team. This little robot embodies just about every single engineering discipline on campus. We've got materials and manufacturing using 3D printing for the body, mechanical engineering for the design and manufacturing of the wheels and drive systems. But the students have designed and had fabricated or fabricated themselves most of these custom circuit boards. Well, how do the teams pay for themselves? Well, they get funding through the Student Government Association. It typically pays for about half of their operating expenses. And the other half comes from generous industrial sponsors. And by providing the support to the students, to these stu student teams in the facility, these corporate sponsors then get privileged access to these student members. Without their generous support, these teams would have a hard time being as successful as they are. And we thank those sponsors.